Hello everyone, Big Game Alley, back again with another Sunday video of non-gaming. Yes, we've got some beers. So, I've heard a lot of people talking about Asda and Asda bringing in a new load of beers this week. And I thought, you know what, I haven't been to Asda for ages. There's probably more than the new ones they've brought out what I haven't tried. So I've been down there and I've managed to pick up eight new beers. Some of them are probably not new, but there is... I know for a fact there's definitely four that are new here because I've seen them in other people's videos so I thought I'd just show you what I picked up and then let me know if there's any here you want me to do a review on and uh, yeah we, we get it out there for you but yeah first up we've got a from North Brewing North Brewing Co a Pinita a Tropical Pal which is coming in at 4.5% so this is bursting with juicy hops and fruit, an exotic pow owl made using real mango and guava, balanced with notes of tropical hops. Pinita is a party in a can. There you go. If you're after a party in a can, get yourself that. Also from North Brewing Co, we have got Songbird. So what does it say about this one? Not a great deal. This rich, smooth IPA has flavours of sweet, juicy blueberry alongside sharp, fresh cuts of pineapple. Oh, blueberry and pineapple, that sounds quite nice. Alright, and that is 6%. 6% IPA there. Right, next up we have got one I'm not going to be able to pronounce the name of, but it is a Rainbow Sherbet Sour by Guilo. Guila, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's like a Japanese brand by the looks of it. Yeah. Doesn't really tell you anything about it. Not really. Uh, Cantonese term meaning ghost chap. There you go. And that is coming in at 4.5%. No, oh, so yeah. And we've got another one by Gilo, we've got the Ginger Beast. So this is going to be a ginger beer I'm guessing, this is 4.3%. Uh, the company's name means Ghost Chat, it's on this one as well. Uh, used to, used, it was used to describe foreign settlers in Canton in the 16th century so this is a this is from Hong Kong so there you go Hong Kong beer doesn't say anything else about it so that would be a nice surprise to try but I'm guessing from the taste of it it's gonna be ginger beer right now we're getting into the, the new stuff so we've got from Siren Siren Craft Brew we have got just like paradise this is a tropical IPA it is coming in at, if we can find the percentage, 4.7%. So none of these are overly strong. This one is a true desert island beer. As pineapple, passion fruit and guava join in an amazing combination of citra and azica hops to create a tropical treat. Along with the punchy fruit flavours, and aromas you're treated with a soft body subtle bitterness and plenty of drinkability this must this must be just like living in paradise so there you go just like paradise is apparently just like living in paradise so yeah we'll have to give that one a try and then this one is a, a quite a weird one this one so this one is also by siren brewing co Siren Craft Brew, and this is a cherry Nigoni sour. Cherry Negroni sour, cocktail inspired sour beer. What does this one have to say about itself then? So it's coming in at only four percent. This one, so this is the lowest one of the ones we've showed so far. And this one is a fresh, tart, and 
and living beer inspired by the greatest of all cocktails, the Negrari, Negrani. Sweet black cherries balanced with a slight, slightly soured base, playing the bionic, playing with bio, botanical notes and fruit hop bitterness, oily orange zest lifts everything in harmony. So yeah, that one sounds like an interesting one. A cocktail inspired beer. Right, two more to go. We have got up from Adnams Brewery in Southwold. Been there, actually been to the, the brewing place, the uh, brewery. And this is called Deep Seas. So this is a Belgium inspired blonde, Belgium styled blonde. Coming in at a massive 6.7%. I think this is the strongest one we've showed so far. What does Adams have to say about itself? Uh, immerse yourself in intense waves of flavours which come rolling in during fermentation. Adams yeast has a real Belgium ascent when you really dive in. It's a rich Belgium fruit, fruitiness and mild floral spice make a splash in our Belgium style blonde. Medina Baravia adds tangerine notes while wheat stirs up lavish depths and foam. Maybe that's why it's called deep seas. But yeah, that one sounds like a good one. 6.7% and the last one I just thought this was quite funny it's called Cat Among Us <laughs> and this is by Toofan Claw it's a tropical IPA coming in at 5.1% so yeah <laughs> find, find the cat where's the cat the cat among us a load of pigeons with a cat on it so this one is Cat Among Us is a straight up hazy and juicy New English, New England style IPA. Loaded with tropical fruit flavors from the late hops combination of citra and mosaic, mosaic and dry hot with citra, continental and Simcoe. So yeah, they are, they are the eight new beers that I've not tried before. Let me know if you've had them, if they're any good. Let me know if there's any in your local Asda that you think I should try. Um, I will be going back down to Asda. I'm guessing they're just having a salt through because a lot of these were like reduced down to 80p, especially like the, the North Brewing Co ones. These ones are 80p. So I'm guessing that they're the older stock that are going out to make room for the new ones. So when, when they're all gone, They'll be bringing in some new ones, so I'll have to go back and check them out and give you an update of what's there. Maybe I'll ask if I can film inside the store and see if uh, see if I can actually show you the shelves. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Let me know if there's any here you think I should do a review on. And yeah, just keep drinking your beer and we will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.